Hi, Class X friends. This is NAB 2024, and this is our fourth day. So it's the last day of NAB, and I would like to show you all the templates and all the beautiful things that we brought along with our Elysium system. So let me just quickly present you what our setup is here at the show. We have three camera inputs, and we have three tracking systems. So one is a PDZ camera with its own 3D tracking coming along. The second one is a easy track tracking system. The third one is a new product launched by Foray, which is called Koala and allows you to take a broadcast camera and show uh, PDZ movements. And accordingly, we as a, the Elitium system, the Classics Elitium system can uh, create their graphics frame by frame according to the PDZ events that we have. So, Please also note that there is a zoom, a zoom done by a broadcast camera and everything is tracked thanks to the Koala tracker. Michele has been showing us around. We have changed the cameras now. And so here I am on the central camera. It is the camera tracked, a little handy cam by Canon. Um, what I also want you to notice is that we are green screening directly inside from within the Elysium system we are green screening this real time. So uh, next template, let's go into another yet virtual environment. This is obviously my favorite one. And uh, because I made it, <laughs> because I love Robobugs. And uh, okay, um, just see how, even though I'm dressed in white, yes, I'm dressed in white. And this would be uh, like inconvenient, normally at a green screen, but we have a such good, filter we have such a good software chroma here inbuilt inside um uh, elitium that you can exploit it and you can actually uh rely on it for your uh, virtual set productions without any problem look at this scorpio robot please my please operator dario can you like stop him okay he stopped why because we have exposed all the 3D model, these uh, beautiful 3D models that you have there, they have animations, they have their own animations, intrinsic animations inside the model. We have exposed them to the operator to be used on the graphic user interface so, so he can actually do the triggering of their movements at need. So without having you, you, you don't need to do complex like blueprints or things like that. You just click the button and you tell the system if to render it like this or maybe quicker or maybe slower or in maybe in another way so uh camera switch again let's go to the second camera and um i wanted you to notice the uh, pbr materials that our models our 3d models are made out of and also the rocks and also the bloom effect so let's switch again template so here we are we are here in the uh photogrammetric scanning of a chapel in Florence. This is for whoever wants to have a uh, really photorealistic background because, uh, yeah, let's say it. Sometimes the uh, production um, needs to have something photorealistic and you want to stay in a real environment. So get a very good quality, high quality uh, scanning, 3D scanning of your environment, download it as GLTF and import it into Coral XR. Add your anchor or your talent, and you already are ready for your virtual production. Seamless switch and uh, notice that uh, the green screen is still just behaving fantastically well. Okay, so after the photogrammetry and the photorealistic background, let's go and move back to something that could be useful if you need to do like a fashion show. So let's uh, move on here to this little fashion setup. So let's get back to a virtual environment like this one where we are presenting virtual, virtually presenting but real models of uh, fashion inside a gallery. It's like an art gallery. And uh, if Michele shows us around, yeah, you will notice that we are in a sort of long corridor with a shiny floor and all our um, models are high quality models uh, really uh, scaled up so that uh, we look it looks like as if we were in a uh, <laughs> I'm dwarfed 
and uh, it looks like, like as if I were in a really big environment. Actually, this effect of uh, cropping is called clean plate, and in classics, you can obtain it um, by adding the clean plates to the video input, to the tracking video input directly from within the uh, environment, the editing environment called Coral XR. Coral XR will help you, will allow you to, to, to create all these uh, setups and quite easily, you just have to imagine that we furnish this setup as if we were furnishing our living room. We add objects, we create uh, we create a layout of objects, of already existing objects. Uh, every time that we switch, we have a different viewpoint of the virtual camera together, which is exactly matching the real camera, right? Okay, so enough of fashion and let's get to the let's back at let's get back to a virtual set that I have already presented at IBC 2023. It is our golden studio and it is great because I have this huge LED wall behind me. It looks like a LED wall, but it's obviously one of the in video inputs that is streaming inside our Elitium system. And uh, actually, and uh, I showing this, and I'm showing the fact that we have timelines so timelines that we can apply on our graphic objects <laughs> if we just look at it from the camera so it can go down and up inside the floor at the click of a button of the operator so imagine having this elitium system the elitium system is absolutely uh, giving the control over the whole scene over all the video inputs over all the animations and the timelines of these objects the car, which is turning here, we can uh, make it move faster, we can make it uh, turn faster or slower. We can change the writings of our 3D text. We can switch camera. Let's switch camera again. So let's go to the central camera again. This is the Easy Track camera yeah, from the Koala camera. We switch to the Easy Track camera, and so we see yet another. Uh, point of view of this beautiful virtual set that is our actual favorite. Yeah. Okay, so, but what if I'm not interested in virtual set and I do not have a green background? Okay, no problem because Elitium will help you in creating augmented reality in a really nice way. So, look at this for instance. If I had to, let's say, use a commercial, uh, if I had to show a commercial partner, what about this? I am showing Coca-Cola today because today maybe we're sponsored by Coca-Cola. And what happens if tomorrow I'm sponsored by someone else? Okay, not Coca-Cola, but maybe Red Bull. So this is it. I can, uh, again, it's on the operators, the tips of the operator's fingers. What we can show, the timelines, the animations are all under control. And of course the camera switches. So oh, in this case, let's switch again camera. So maybe, oh, okay. <laughs> so I came out from behind our Red Bull here. Um, see how beautifully it looks like a real Red Bull can actually, because it's metallic and it's reflecting in the environmental lighting that we have there. But okay, so uh, this year in Las Vegas, when we arrived, we have seen for the first time, the big Las Vegas sphere working. And the Las Vegas sphere is amazing, isn't it? So we made our own little sphere. Look at this. One of the video inputs that is streaming live into the Elitium system is being mapped onto this sphere. So please operate their system and show us how there is a LED effect. It looks like as if it had a real hot pitch, right? And so this is one of the things that you can do. Inside Elegium, you have endless possibilities of shaders that you can apply to your video inputs in order to obtain exactly the artistic effect that you are looking for. Okay, let's go on because augmented reality also is for sport, basketball or soccer, because I have here a soccer 3D model, right? Uh, okay, I want to present now a versus uh, so team A against team B and also maybe the favorite players 
uh, phase two team. Uh, let's switch camera and go directly to the to the Koala camera back again because it has, in my opinion, it has the best shooting angle. Okay, so here I wanted to show you that we handle reflection. So let us pretend to be on a shiny floor and not on this green canvas, okay? So we're not using the green canvas. You pretend that we're on a real, in a real studio environment with a shiny floor. So a shiny floor would have my reflection, of course, and my 3D objects here, which are also transparent, allow the transmittance. They do, uh, they do have their own reflection. So we have a completely great illusion, a shiny illusion of uh, having these obje objects actually there as if, as if they were real. So it is all about keeping the illusion. The good tracking system is all about keeping the illusion. The graphics that you need frame by frame in order to create this illusion, whether it be virtual set or augmented reality. Okay, another yet possibility of Elitium without, it's not an option, it's not a product option, it's just something that you can do with your assistant directly. Okay, I'm here on the PDZ camera, high base camera, just follow me. This is the pitch branding. Okay, this is pitch branding, meaning that I can actually brand a uh, uniformly colored surface I can brand it with either static PNGs as, as we're doing here, or we can brand it with um, animations, with clips, with whatever, whatever you want, commercials or video inputs, and, uh, and use that surface as if it were so a, a, a commercial surface, or maybe a surface for showing scores for sports. Uh, we have a great integration with Genius Sports, for instance. Genius Sports allows us to get a timer and a scoring system. In this case, we are standing two to two, but of course we can, since we are a CG company, don't uh, forget that, <laughs> that this is all a tracked CG, we can change the score. So now we're standing four to five. And while I speak, I have the operator being able to trigger all these events that we are looking at. Okay, so another thing that we can do, useful for sports or maybe useful for uh, other applications, I've seen it much in sports, is virtual interview. So let's go and do the virtual interview. Sure. So, hi Michele, nice to see you here. Actually, I don't see you, you're behind a wall. And, uh, it is nice to be here again, yeah? Already seen, yes? Uh, this is the virtual interview, so I can take a video input. And this video input is something that can be green screened directly from within the Elitium system. And it can be used as a virtual object inside a tracked system. And not only, uh, it's not only using my uh, video input, it's also making a real-time cast shadow at my feet so it looks as if we were actually it looks as if we were actually standing here in the corridor of NAB 2024 uh, and uh, it, as if it, I had the shadow there while my real shadow is being provoked away <laughs> thank you for for bearing all my talk and uh, our Great templates. Remember, we did one Elitium, three cameras, three different tracking systems, and 10 templates that we could switch among like quickly like that. Animations, templates, and timelines, and changing data are no problem for Elitium. Thanks for your attention.